The Haggadah tells us that the Israelites had to rush out of Egypt so fast they didn't have time for their bread to rise. Does that make any sense? What was the rush exactly? The Egyptians had just been blasted with ten plagues as divine punishment for holding the Israelites captive. They were more than ready to let them go, so why the rush? And do you know how long it takes for bread to rise? 18 minutes. They couldn't have spent a few extra minutes to make proper sandwiches for the trip? Hey, grandparents, just a few more minutes and we'd be eating wraps at the Seder instead of matzah. Hi, I'm Rabbi Yisrael Bernath, and welcome to my Daily Torah Thoughts. We're continuing this theme of talking about Passover. So you want to know what the rush was about? They weren't running away from the Egyptians. They were running from themselves. Think of an alcoholic, for example. For a while, the alcoholic fools himself into thinking that things are in control. He's just drinking socially. It relaxes him. There's nothing wrong. He could quit any time. And gradually, the habit overtakes him. And one by one, he loses everything he has, his family, his job, his money, his dignity. But it's only when he hits rock bottom when he's been stripped of everything, that it suddenly dawns on him that he has a real problem. And now he has to act fast. Once he's recognized the problem, he has to deal with it immediately before that moment of clarity passes by and he slips back into self-justification. He can't do it alone. He's too drunk to help himself. He has to call for help. Someone from the outside, someone sober, will have to reach out and drag him out of his addiction. But they can only help him if he's willing to go cold turkey, not to touch alcohol ever again. He has to run away from the addict that he's been until now. Otherwise, he can't begin to heal. That's exactly where the Israelites were before the Exodus. Two centuries of slavery had taken a toll on the Jewish people's spirit. They had forgotten their illustrious past as the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, pioneers of a path of ethics and higher morals. The corruption of the Egyptian society had slowly crept into the Israelite mentality, and they assimilated many of its pagan ideals into their own. They were slaves to Egypt, not just in body, but in mind as well. It came to a point where their unique identity was all but lost. Suddenly, they realized that the legacy of Abraham could be lost forever, and the message of hope that the Israelites were to bring to the world would not be delivered, all because of them. Only then did they cry out for help. On the brink of a point of no return, they called out to God. That's why the matzah, is the central motif of Passover. The children of Israel had to make a hasty retreat from Egypt. Egypt and its lowliness had a hold on them, as powerful as an addiction. They had to first get out of Egypt in order to get Egypt out of themselves. To delay would be deadly, and once they had realized the problem, if they would have hesitated, it could have spelt the end for them. They may have sunk to the point of no return. We all have our addictions, whether to harmful substances, poisonous relationships, toxic habits, or negative ideologies. Pesach is a detox retreat where the spirit of liberty calls upon us to free ourselves from our personal Egypt. The matzah reminds us that the first step towards freedom is to go cold turkey. No hesitations. Identify that you are an addict. Call out for help. Then make a sudden and complete exodus from the you that was and march through the desert towards the you that you can be. I'm Rabbi Yisrael Bernath. Have a great day.